Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 6 of Code Geass, Turn 6, Surprise Attack Over the Pacific. Ooh, I wonder how an attack is going to transpire when we just left off on the Lelouch at that festival the second year around mm -hmm. and Suzaku just put him on the phone with Nunnally who seems fine but he shouldn't remember her. What are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? I mean this is just like a masterfully created situation yeah. to put Lelouch in. Like there are just so many components and so many potential things going on that he has to like run through the mental net of like, should I know this? Yeah. In front of ever, that's impossible. I don't know how he's possibly going I to get out of this he's one. He's gonna need a light level Oscar performance. Uh, so true. So we'll see if he can pull that off. And if you're excited for this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for episodes coming every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes early along with episodes of Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, and Gravity Falls, Check out the Patreon link in the description below where they're all posted in their extended full-length forms. All right, are we excited for episode six of season two of Code Geass? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! So this is like the dance after the festival's ended, but yeah, what? All right, we're what just... is she up to? Well, I think she's the new regent of the region. Go on, Lelouch. Let's hear your answer. Suzaku, you've got nope. me trapped. <laughs> This yep. is my brother, isn't it? I can't do this. I can't lie to Nanali. Oh. Ah. Uh, and even this is suspicious. Even if he's like, who are you? Whoa, well, he's gonna help. Okay. Good work. Keep him like that. You'll have to hurry. Don't forget the time limit. Nanali, listen to me. Lelouch, it is you. Oh, okay. Whoa. Right now we have to act like we're strangers. It's necessary. Just follow my lead. Okay. I'm going to come for you. I swear it. And so until then, until then, I love you, Nanali. <laughs> oh. You're confusing me with someone else. That's right. I'm just a student at the school here. Lelouch. That was so smart. Really wow. Back. Forgive me. Gave him time you to get his composure. Friend of Holy shit. I guess I just jumped to conclusions. It's just, I... No, please. Where is it's hold on, where is she? Like a garden? It looks like a prison just, a little bit though. I, Not no, it's just like please. It's you know what I mean? There's only yeah, one oh, yeah. exit. Princess. Uh, um, could you please put Suzaku back on? Yes, your highness. Oh me, I what is that? A misunderstanding. No, it's all right. He just seems so similar that it surprised me. Well, oh. Um, I'll see you when I get to area. Oh, 11. in California. Don't underestimate the threat. He Love may California. be at a disadvantage, but we're still dealing with Zero. You can be sure he has some plan underway. Such a cowardly response. Fortunately, Viceroy Nanali has me to protect her. Your services won't be needed. But General Zero is dead, Lord Guilford. Zero was killed last year. The Zero we face now is just using his name. Princess Cornelia would regret seeing your contemptible fear for this cheap imposter. Speaking of regret. <laughs> oh, Asplund. Sorry we're late. Adjusting Lancelot took longer than we thought it would. <laughs> it's been quite a while. Just we're dancing Asplund. around. He's so funny. As for the item we discussed. Yes, it comes to us via Prince Schneisel. It's rather nice having a second prince to call on. You have my thanks. Unbelievable. This prodigal aristocrat is serving as Lord Kururugi's guardian. He better not interfere with efforts to educate the new viceroy. Yeah, what it, so her being the new viceroy, Did she's what does that even mean? But my own brother, I don't understand. Has something happened between She's gotta be confused, yeah. Yeah, seriously, but she can't like check with Suzaku. Nope. Well, I mean I guess she can to be like, why does Lelouch not recognize me? Like play dumb in a way, you know? I guess. 
because he said, oh, here's your brother she's Lelouch, and he doesn't remember, she could be like, what the hell was that? Yeah, I guess she could play into the, like, when he apologized for causing confusion. Like, yeah, why did you do that? That was really mean of you. Well, more like, just I'm- like her, her, she knows who Lelouch is her brother. Right. And he, he it supposedly doesn't. So she can be like, why did he not recognize me? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Right, yeah. Cool. I wonder why they didn't wipe... I mean, I guess they wanted this to be a potential way to check if Lelouch had broken. Maybe they'll change Nunnally's memory now. Because a memory yeah. changing... Because memory deleting is one thing, but memory changing from the Emperor is yeah. like a pretty broken power. Yeah, seriously. You can do anything with that. Yep. Like literally anything. Mm-hmm. To just make Attack on Titan happen, basically. Yeah. No, you just have to like <clears throat> think far enough ahead in the chess game. Yep. Viceroy is set to arrive at Area 11 tomorrow to take up her post. The name and background of the new Viceroy still has not been released to the public. The big question is the Chinese Federation consulate, right? But what about the standoff in Area 11? Oh, I'm afraid I don't know the details. Can you tell me anything about the outside world? I've never gone beyond the walls of this palace. Uh, that's because this forbidden city in the Luoyang <laughs> capital Speaking is of attack on Titan. Yeah, right. <laughs> outside and see what's happening. The truth is, I came today to say goodbye to you. Oh no! Not now, when I finally made a real friend! I'm very sorry, but you know my husband is waiting for me. <laughs> she thinks Zero is going to be her husband. <laughs> Yikes. Who's going to tell her? I see. However, there's no way to get them into the That's consulate now. That's symbolic. Yeah. Nonali is going to be the new viceroy. Will you be able to fight her, your sister? <laughs> no. Right. Nonali? Is that some kind of joke? Then you're just going to leave her alone? Out of the question. If nothing's done, Nonali will be used as a political tool just like she yeah. was before. A girl who can't walk and can't see. Do they plan to use her as a pawn and throw her away? <laughs> I'm doing all this to keep that from happening. I became zero for Nanali's sake. I'm well aware that your sister's your entire reason for living. I am going to create a world where Nanali can live happily. To do that, I will obliterate Britannia. You mentioned V2. Is he in the Britannian homeland? I don't know that much about him. However, I know that he's your father's first ally, Emperor Charles of Britannia's chief confederate. Confederate. Okay. Long ago, they made a pact. Well, okay. Yes, that is our binding contract. <laughs> Saturn. All right. Jupiter. That was they fast. They keep showing Jupiter. Yeah. Is that God? Um, they keep saying, I will Jupiter, slay the God. I'm pretty sure was the Roman name for Zeus. Who was was it? the head of yeah. the gods. Was it Jupiter? Can I, I look it up? Because Mars was Aries. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're right. Can I look it up? Yeah. Or the sun. I don't think it is, though. The sun. I think it is Jupiter. I remember this from the Percy Jackson, like, spinoff Roman Jupiter. Series. Yeah. So, yes. Jupiter is representation of Zeus, like you said. Mm-hmm. Sky god. We're in, like, a sky temple. This but, is kind of Grecian. But one interesting thing is he says the god, and if we were talking Grecian, there's several. Yeah, but, like, the god of gods. Yes, but do you get what I mean? 100%. Like, it's a little weird to be singular with allusions to Roman mythology. It is. Yeah. Huh. Well, we'll see. But his contract is to kill God with V2. And V2 is a man. Okay. With just really great hair. Um, Amazing. Why does V2 want to kill God? And is C2's goal going to be, like, opposite somehow? Like, to open the doorway to God somehow. You know what I mean? Like, is it... Was the opposite preventing the killing of God or helping God? I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. I shall slay the God. Yes, that is our binding contract. Have we learned anything about the little diamond tell things? Me, no. Why okay. don't you tell Nanali about Zero's true identity and about Gios? It wasn't necessary for her to know. The light patterns make it you know, rag Charles, rock. You really are still a child. <laughs> Perhaps I am big brother. Oh, big. weird. Where's Viceroy? Perhaps I am big brother. I guess if it's like weird C2, dynamic. If V2 is like C2, then C2, then V2's is been very old. Older, yeah. Where's Viceroy Natalie? She's in the garden. 
Even if she came to the bridge, well, I guess there'd be no point. The Black There's a Knights, garden on the ship. Here? Yeah. Right. We only just confirmed it ourselves. I'll give you all the information I have. It should be crystal clear that my country has no hostile intentions towards Britannia. Did Zero go with them? It appears so. They took their nightmares with them and they vanished. We're guessing they left through an underground level. <sighs> to where? No idea. That's all I have. They wouldn't attack Nonali. Should we strike back? <laughs> All right, get my lift. This operation is the capture of the new viceroy. No matter what, okay. Happens, All right, must not be hard. Keep her safe. Is that clear? Roger. I wonder what they're gonna think about protecting a Britannian royal. What are you doing? Yeah, like he said, at all costs. Like, are they gonna sacrifice their lives? I mean, that seems like what he said. Yeah, surround and attack now. All right, General Little Toto, smoke the rest is up to you. Right. Good luck, Deputy Commander. They're landing on top of us? Two more enemy nightmares have landed on our main wing. On That's one thing about these well. big Center ships is they're not great at close range defense. Yeah, exactly. Commander, I figured you'd concentrate your air power on the smoke. The obvious response. Nice. All right. Have the escort ships fire as well. But sir, the enemy is targeting our float units. We can't shoot back because our shields are up. Then how can we defend this ship? If I'd known this was possible, I'd have brought Lord Guilford along. It'll take an hour for reinforcements to reach us from the Tokyo. I was talking a lot of crap earlier. Yeah, seriously. Then we crash. Our job now is to help the survivors. For someone who didn't anticipate anything close range, yeah. Oh wow. Guess. Yes. <laughs> Understood. Oh. oh. I mean, nope. He's taking no nonsense when getting Nunnally. Yeah. Coming to save you. But couldn't they have helped? Nah, I understand. Like, just taking no chances. You yeah, know? I mean, it's his sister. You yeah. Know? Samurai leap over floating boats attack. <laughs> you can put your shields up, but once we get I'm sorry. What the hell was that name of the attack? That can't be a named attack. That's too specific. Now, Samurai Leap over floating boats attack. <laughs> Satellite Reaper over flowing boats attack? Something like that. All right. Yeah. Looks like they're running out of air strength, too. You'll end up a skinned rabbit. Don't get cocky. Right, right. I'll stick to basics, but... <laughs> oh, by the way, this is random. If you ever see me looking to the left, we have a camera of our dogs there, so that's why I'm looking. <laughs> being good puppies just in case you thought it was something awful well in case you are like why is he like just like out of nowhere <laughs> i'll stick to basics but <laughs> reinforcements from tokyo so soon no that was fast like no guard. and they have float units Nightmares. oh boy it can't be that machine is <laughs> now let's bring down the curtain output on all units is normal isn't mass production nice did Prince Schneisel really approve the budget? If he didn't, he'll notice it pretty soon. What? You didn't hmm. tell him what you were doing? I don't need to fly for this! Did they just make more Lancelot oh. models? Is this just a differently skinned Lancelot? Yeah. It seems like it. Sorry, I'm out. Damn for <laughs> acting without orders. All tasks at hand have been cleared. And now the tide of battle shall turn. Whoa. Wow. Cool shot. Yeah. <laughs> Old Dolly Zoom. Zero's inside. What are those guards doing? Viceroy Nunnally, it's Zero. <laughs> I'm informing <General laughs> Probably not breathing. <laughs> Their reunion is starting. Ah. Must okay. Not be disturbed. Ah. Okay. So he did. That's give a some smart way. Commands. Yeah. We're together again. Oh no! But she doesn't know who he is. You're right. Zero, aren't you? The terrorist. Have you come to kill me as well? Like you killed my brother Clovis and my sister Yuffie? Even so, will you wait just a moment, please? I think that what you're doing is wrong. Whoa, him oh. hearing this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Whoa, great move. He made the rope and she just tightrope. <laughs> yeah. It. Okay. 
Uh oh. It's discipline time. When you hear the new theme, all right. It's gotta be another <laughs> night of the table. They were saving it for something. Night of the round, yeah. Yeah. A nightmare. This is a bigger problem than they're anticipating. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm the finished. Fact that every I have boobs now. <laughs> Did you notice that? No. <laughs> just, just look at the injection thing. But look. <laughs> That's so funny. I just thought it was funny that they keep apologizing right before they bail. <laughs> like, sorry, I'm leaving. Oh, because they took oh. down one of the ships to hit the other one. Oh, okay. Smart. Two nightmares. Whoa! Stone. They mastered the uh, directional laser beam thing they'd been trying yeah. to do. Probably for the person that's been texting a bunch. Yep. Oh, it's a cannon base. General, what are you doing in that gun turret? At this rate, I'm gonna be demoted. I have to do something to prove myself. I'll kill the Black Knight. <laughs> I don't know how yeah, that's gonna go. Yeah, just hit your own go. ship, why don't you? Yeah. Yeah, Very you smart. This is gonna go over well. This guy's incompetent. Definitely not getting that promotion. <laughs> Lelouch, give me the courage I need. It's Britannia that is wrong. The Emperor believes that might is always right. Do you approve of that? Viceroy Nonnelly, you're just being used. You're saying they sent a blind, crippled girl to win everyone's sympathy? Then you're wrong. Hmm. I asked them to send me. That's why I'm here. Hmm. Where's Zero? We can't why hasn't he just told her that he's Lelouch yet? Because I think that she she clearly doesn't like Zero. And so he is such a big problem with that that he's not going to be like, hey, it's actually me after trying so hard to find her. Like if she, if if I was like secretly a serial killer. Like, I wouldn't just come out and tell you. You know what I mean? That's literally what he is. Like, I think he's trying to preserve her image of him and try to get to a point where they've won and then maybe reveal it. But in the process, like, if she goes, I don't, I will never be your sister again, it'll root, it'll just ruin the whole reason for everything. Hmm. Okay. I think he wants to keep a separation. Interesting. Because of the ECCM effects, I want to rendezvous with G. Because, I mean, because like, learning your brother's a mass murderer, that's got to be... No, that's... yeah. I think that's why. Okay. But you might tell her soon. Like might just have no choice. So it's just because they told her that it was Zero when he walked in? What? So it... No, he she just guessed. But they also said on the recording, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't hear that. Oh, okay. I don't like picking on those who are weaker than me, but... Never thought a place like this... <laughs> oh, no! For you, I'll make an exception. Oh, oh my no! god! Units for an aerial attack. That's not your kind of tactic, Toto. You requested it? I think with a peaceful approach, I can make the world a gentler place. That's what Euphemia That's said. I want to carry yeah. Plan to create the specially administrated zone of oh, and he hated that. Zero, oh. Won't you please try to help me rebuild it? Oh my god. People can start oh. over. Please. First time firing up the lance a lot. Right now, rescuing the Viceroy has top priority. Initiating search for her wheelchair beacon. Starting ECM signal noise cleanup. Phase preset. Sending the layout of the ship's interior. Transmit the oh my god, there are so many steps. Channel MB, roger. Lancelot Conquista, now launch! Launching. Essentially, let me know when you get the signal to not least wheelchair. Literally, <laughs> like... <laughs> When you're trying to hit word count. Yeah. <laughs> Colin, I have to save Nonali. Nothing else matters now. I won't ask for your forgiveness. Anymore. Kozaki, hide! Not until everyone's gotten away. Whoa. Now he's got a cannon too. Oh no. Oh. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh. Well, they're all in the sky. I mean, yeah. I guess they could, like, eject. Oh. <laughs> nope, just kidding. This is really bad. Really, really bad. Yeah, you're literally gonna die. You oh. can't fall from this height. Oh, my... Oh. What is she gonna do? How is this all happening at the same time? What a perfect position. Huh. <laughs> 
What? No way. Okay. She's gonna be right underneath. She's falling. Um. Oh, it's gonna catch her. Oh, she'll fly back up. Whoa. This is like Iron Man falling wow. off the Avengers Tower. Sick. That's really cool. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, that's insane. Yeah. She's getting her arm back from a missile. <laughs> that's insane. That's amazing. Goodness gracious. Think about the math that's required to make that happen. <laughs> On just magic at that point. It's math. Yeah. Huh? In the sky, the Black Knights have a float system too. Kozaki, save zero. I'm on it, sir. Gain wings and a shield, huh? So what? If this Gurren doesn't work perfectly, then I'm finished. Well, we don't have much choice. Try shooting it. You've got a point there! Okay, so now she's got a cannon and a shield and her arm? Damn. From long range. Whoa. Holy shit. See ya. Oh my goodness. Flight -enabled version. Nice one. Suzaku, get to the Viceroy. Don't let your guard down. That's the pilot who defeated Lord Jeremiah. Okay, that's one three knights of the round. <laughs> one who beat Orange Boy? <laughs> Whoa. The weaving. As good as the knights of the round? We'll see. Right now. Oh my goodness. Don't underestimate the good! You know, you haven't seen this, but that reminds me of, uh, that reminded me of the Super Smash Bros. Brawl main storyline with King DDD shooting a cannon. Dirty, Dirty shoes. shoes. I'll take care of you guys later. Who's coming up with the names of these moves? Wait, no, I think she's just referring to her shoes. Oh, I thought that was like the no. the name. Of, oh, no. <laughs> well, check out where her her foot goes. That's she's referring to. Oh, <laughs> you're ridiculous, though. I don't know. You okay. Holy power! Oh my goodness! Wow! Wide range too? What's its total energy? The same amount, but scattered. With the internal damage it caused, those units won't be able to function for a while. Uh uh, it's all nice. Violent. I shouldn't have held back on my attack. Colin, why would you come back under these conditions? Is it that Zero's on the ship already? Move it! Have a taste of the Gepion net. Oh my God! How many new gadgets? This is insane. Oh, this now it's a flying the version of the disabler thing. Oh my god. Whoa, countermeasure. All these animations are incredible. Yeah. It can't be more powerful than an advanced Idrisil drive. We've located the Viceroy. She's in the garden space to the rear of the main bridge. But hurry, now there's only 47 seconds till the ship crashes. I promise I'll save her. Damn. Yeah, Zero's got to go out there too. Yeah. No, they're running out of time. The core luminous cone. <clears throat> Go. Does Lelouch through? know that this thing's about to crash? I don't think so. What do I it do? seems not. I can't reveal Zero's identity to her, but I can't take her by force either. <laughs> Escape with me! Lonely! No! Not after he sold me out to the Emperor! No! Oh no! Forgive me. It's all right now. And he doesn't get to be the one who saves her. Well, he doesn't even get and her, period. No. Well, and he's the one she's being saved from. Yeah. Well, that, that and the crashing ship. Well, <laughs> yeah. But she heard him. Whoa, he... And she, he yelled, Natalie, okay. Yeah. Damn. Maybe she'll recognize that. Yeah. 
And that is where we are left oh for my episode goodness. six oh of my season goodness. two Code Geass. What an episode. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. What are your first thoughts? Wow. This show, I mean, it was clear last episode for the festival, they were kind of saving budget a little bit, and they really used it they, this episode. Yeah, wow. I'm very concerned about how Lelouch is going to respond to Nanali kind of shitting on Zero. Yeah, I feel like he would figure, she, since she's so gentle, like she wouldn't be down with like the methods he's using, but she'll be okay with the result that's going to happen. Yeah. I think this is what drives him not to tell her that he's Zero. Um, but I, I just wonder if she actually recognized him there. Cause I've been saying, like, if she's going to recognize a voice, it's going to be Zero's. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like the scream maybe would be enough to, like, oh, I only know one screen that sounds like that type thing. Yeah. And it happened when maybe, like, they lost their mom or something, like, something like Oh, uh, like, yeah. And that's also the point where she went blind. So, like, maybe something like that just triggered deep within her to let her know. Mm-hmm. Um, but as it stands, they she's going to try to do what Euphemia did, and we all saw how that went. Yeah, seriously. Um, so terrified to see what happens next. So true. So we'll see if he can pull that off. And if you're excited for this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for episodes coming every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes early along with episodes of Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, and Gravity Falls, check out the Patreon link in the description below where they're all posted in their extended full-length forms. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our incredible Patreon members. If you want to join our community of over 3,000 on there, check out the link in the description below and uh, join at any level to start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Question one, Eric C. asks, having heard directly from Nunnally's mouth that she thinks what Zero is doing is wrong, then losing her to, Suza to Suzaku at the end, what is the path forward for Lelouch now? He started all this for her sake. Is he able to finish it without her? I think it's going to turn into a similar thing to what you were talking about earlier, where she's so gentle she could never do what needs to be done. So I just have to do it. And then once the world is the way I want it to be, she'll understand that I did it for her kind of thing. Because it kind of feels like, and I hate to make constant Death Note comparisons, but in the sense where when Light was halfway through what he was doing, it was, I mean, it was always just evil, but there was zero justification, even in his mind, if he wasn't successful to the end. The only yeah. way that it made it an okay thing to do was if his end goal was achieved. So if Lelouch were to get this far along and then stop, he cannot do that. Yeah, I think he's going to keep going. But like, if the whole reasoning is for Nunnally, like, I wonder if either A, he does it out of like a far-fetched reason of like it'll eventually be better for her or be if he's gonna find some new reasoning that's like revenge based for like ruining their relationship or something oh interesting i don't know it, it it's gonna be interesting to see how he responds to i mean he hasn't necessarily lost her because on the phone he could still talk to her but like it's gonna be nearly impossible for zero to save her quote unquote because she'll be traumatized by being taken by zero yeah like that this is the and problem he knows that to. yeah yeah i think he's gonna have a really massive issue with the fact that suzaku was the one who saved nunnally and the fact that nunnally was comforted by the fact that suzaku was there she was like uh, oh thank god i you're wonder here. if he'll have that because he knows that she trusts Suzaku and also she was going to like fall in a burning ship. Like it's not like you know, he saved her directly from zero only. All right, second question. Sammy Pompeius asks, what do you think of Lelouch's failed plan to save Nunnally? Land units in the sky? Was it too rushed? Was he too emotional? My inclination is yes. Yeah, it just seems like it was not as well thought out as it needed to be for something that was so brand new. Like, obviously there's gonna be a first time for everything, but if it's gonna be the first time you're using a land thing in the sky, you, you need to have more of a plan than that. Mm. My thought is more along the lines of like, typically in these engagements, he's like, Knight did this, like rook to that right, like yeah. he's essentially like telling them each what to do and this one he was just solely focused on euphemia and was like you guys just kind of yeah zero plan like i i feel like he was just so plugged into getting to euphemia that he just didn't not euphemia sorry he was so plugged into getting nunnally that he just kind of neglected everything else and 
lo and behold, the plan yeah. kind of didn't work. 100%. Yeah. We'll see if he keeps leading emotionally and going after Nunnally, because if he does, he'll keep losing Black Knights. I mean, he lost one of the four Holy Swords, which is yeah. a problem. We'll see how that impacts the Black Knight morale. Um, Because it'll be like, we lost one of the four Holy Swords going after a Britannian princess. Why? Yeah, exactly. Um, let's go to our final question. Final question. Zionth asks, in this episode, we see Emperor Charles show a softer side for the first time to his older brother. Both he and Lelouch appear to be motivated by a similar desire to change the world for the sake of their siblings. We know why Lelouch wants to change things, but for what purpose would Charles and V2 have for killing God? I'm going to guess they want to do it to just attain more power. Okay, my guess was going to be something along the lines of the differences in like sibling powers. The idea that things are so drastically unfair that if you as an older sibling see your younger sibling struggling and it's and the, like the difference between you is something that was determined by God, that you as an older sibling would want to kill God for putting your sibling in that position. We know that Emperor Charles has Gias and V2 is probably somewhat like C2, but that's, we, we know they're brothers and we know they want to kill God and we don't know much else. Because Emperor Charles, I mean, he rules the entire world. He's got quite a lot of power. Yeah, I guess it makes the most sense for it to be like a power grab thing. But I feel like from a sibling perspective, I don't know, you hold the universe responsible for something bad that happened to your sibling. So you're going to go get revenge on the world. Like people do weird stuff for their families. Yeah. So what do you think happened to Emperor Charles and B2? No idea. So you think something bad happened to them? Yes. Okay. I think they're like, there's something. Potentially. I think it could totally be a power grab, like you're saying. I think if it isn't that, then there's some like, we're going to take revenge on the world for... On, on God? Us. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really know. I know that Marianne, Lelouch's mom, C2 has been talking to her mm -hmm. periodically. So she exists somewhere. My thought is potentially maybe and this is shot in the dark maybe god presides in some heaven scape and they're trying to get to heaven somehow to kill god to take heaven and then have all of the good souls that have gone to that place like maybe that's where marianne is interesting like i i don't really know i know she somehow figures into this but i don't know what if it, i wonder whether it's a singular god i wonder if that has to do with jupiter I, I really, I wonder how long they've been going at this goal. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of questions I have, but it is a big piece of the puzzle that it is Charles and V2 are siblings. Yeah. And it also is interesting that after an interaction with V2, Suzaku became a lot more brutal and able to kill, just like kind of Charles does. Yeah. Like, I wonder whether V2 is somehow influencing them. I don't really know. But we know their main goal is to kill God, and that's how Emperor Charles fulfills his contract. And so if he needs to kill God, he might need all of these different sites that they've shown from all these different company countries, you know, those doorways we saw? Mm -hmm. And so the reason why Emperor Charles is conquering the world is probably to get all of these different locations, which then work together to somehow open a way to get to God. Okay. That's my guess. Like a portal? That's what I think. I think it's like almost like a truth portal. All right. And maybe they need to do some massive alchemy-esque sort of thing to get all of the gates to work together to get to God. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Gios is part of that. I think so, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think Gios is probably some sort of just God power. Yeah. Like, I'm guessing that maybe God has all the Gioses, and if you get to God, you can then have every Gios. I don't know. Lots of questions left after that episode, but that is where we are left. Are we excited for episode seven of season two of Code Geass? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.